So I walk in Sarah's room last night. <laughs> and she, yeah, well, I mean, it's a miracle I could walk in. But I, got, I did, I walked in. And um, I said, what are you doing? She goes, well, I'm packing up to move. And I said, well, um, looks like you got a long ways to go. <laughs> and she said, well, Dad, it's not as bad as it looks. It is my pleasure to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. William Hutchings Rains. Sarah, well the day has come, the day we both knew would happen from an early point in our relationship. I can't believe that so many days have passed together. Yet, three years is nothing compared to the 60 plus we get to be together. It is truly a blessing to have my best friend wake up, eat breakfast and dinner, and sit on a cupboard porch with me for however many years we have together. Words cannot describe how amazing that is. A lot of people get married, but very few marry their best friend. I know my best friend is you, and knowing that makes living each day easier. The truth I realized a year ago is that you love me so much and yet you love to fix things. You tried to fix me for two years and you couldn't, yet you still love me. I realize I might not have a normal brain or a brain that guides my heart, but I have a God that does. Knowing that you could love me despite this gave me the ability to see God's love by giving his only son to die, for me and for you. My sweet man, I'm sorry I'm not as eloquent with words as you are, so here goes nothing. It's crazy to think that today has come. This day has been long awaited and now here we are. It's wedding day. Today is the day that we're bound to each other. Today is the day that two hearts become one. Today is the day that God works a miracle. I mean, think about it. How else could two things, two beings, two unique people transform into one sweet spirit, one unified heart, and one complete family? Only by the work of God above is that even made possible. Dad, then I'm so blessed that God put us on the path to each other. There's absolutely no way God didn't orchestrate this. I mean, how did two people who just happened to meet on eHarmony, because we were coincidentally on there at the same time, just meet and hit it off? There's no denying that God's hands are all over us and all over this masterpiece. Only He could make this happen. So how do I even begin to sum up almost three years worth of memories and struggles and a whole lot of joy into one letter? Memories I've discovered are made up with names. Pet names, teacher names, coach names, and nicknames. <laughs> names like Nandy Bear, my sweet man, my dog, and I've given you so many nicknames over the past few years, but my favorite ones are about to become much more permanent. My husband, my lover, my family, and my absolute best friend. The best person in anyone's life can and should be the person who brings that person back to Christ. You always tell me with your encouragement and unwavering love to put my problems at the foot of the cross. I never had, but I do now. I really do not know if there is a magic formula for a way to do marriage. From what I have come up with and heard from wiser men than me, we have a good formula. But honestly, why do we even need one? We just need to do us. That is what we are good at and is what we know. Just be Sarah and me be William. The responsibilities, covenant, and official titles say we are bound as one for eternity. Dadgum, we have been living that way since day one. No need to change anything now. We do not need to change who we are. We just need to work on how to be who we are with each other. We got this. I don't think anyone has a doubt about that, but even if they do, who cares? As long as we don't let the doubt of the devil creep in, but we live in the victory of Christ, we have no doubts. Because we know how life ends after all. I love you. I hope you're ready for this big day, but a day that is so small in the grand scheme. It's what we do after this day that will be a testament to this covenant we are signing before God, family, and friends today. 
I love you, Mrs. Reigns. Please wear this name proudly and with honor. It has belonged to my mama for many years. She has done it well. It is your turn. With abounding love, your husband, William Reigns. Today I hope is the best beginning of a new chapter of our lives together. The preface is us being rooted in Christ, the introduction in us dating, and the first few chapters is us falling in love and getting engaged. We're now at the current climax of our story. I'm sure there'll be more to follow this climax, but currently we're living in our highest moment together and we get to share that moment with many of our closest family and friends. Then they all have a front seat, a front row seat to watch you and I create a family grow together and continue to be rooted in Christ and charge after our hopes and dreams. Are you ready, babe? <laughs> da, 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 da. Charge. Love always. You're sweet pea. William, you may kiss your bride.